Welcome back to Talk of the Town. South Carolina's Cranford Hollow has been touring the Southeast for two years, previously known as Cranford and Sons. Now with two albums and many miles under their belt, they are looking for westward expansion. Here to talk about their upcoming tour, album, and fundraising campaign, band leader John Cranford and manager Nick Castricone. Welcome to the show. Hey, Sandy. Thank you so, so much for having So happy to us. have you here. So much has happened since <laughs> I've seen you last. We've, uh, yeah, we've been a little busy. Yeah. We've put some miles on the, on the road. That's wonderful. So let's talk a little bit about what do you, what's going on the next few months. We are uh, starting this week, actually, with almost a two, two and a half month tour of over 40 different cities uh, wow. as far west as Colorado, New Mexico, um, a little bit of Midwest, and then sort of s coming back and circling through the, the southeast a few times Yeah. Uh, until September, a little bit after Labor Day. So have you guys been working on uh, any new recordings? We do. We do have a, a third record uh, sort of in the bag. Mm -hmm. um, the, the majority of the actual tracking of the record has been done. Uh, there's still a lot of tweaking and mastering and packaging and publicity and all the things that go into putting a record out. But we did return to uh, St. Augustine, Florida, where we made our, our first record as Cranford and & Sons. And it's a neat facility. It's all analog gear. Hypothetically, we could have gone back to 1970 and done the same recording. Wow. Um, we did end up using uh, Pro Tools, which is a computer software this time, just for use of time uh, versus the old school two-inch tape. Um, but the way that the record works, they, they do send everything back through the two-inch tape and the analog okay. gear. So you get this really great warm sound, and it sort of simplifies. You know, I think the, the Cranford Hollow uh, self-titled debut was, was a great, great, great record um, with Greg Critchley, who did a phenomenal job yeah, good guy. on production and, and engineering and, and just being a great producer. But yeah. we wanted to kind of bring it back to the roots and what we started with uh, with this thing. And we did it all ourselves. And with a new drummer and sort of uh, rebranding ourselves as Cranford Hollow, we, we all sat together in a room and wrote and recorded everything together. Yeah. How neat is that? That's so it was wonderful. a neat experience to, to to approach it that way and and you know I think Nick's heard the record and I think it's it's uh, it's noticeable as far as the information that's coming out but I don't think it uh, takes from any of the quality of the record and it's a little bit more raw yeah. yeah I think so and I think it also just shows the maturity of the band in terms of the growth of right. where the band was right. uh, when we recorded back in uh, early 2012 to really where the band is now both from an emotional standpoint from a music sonically sure. uh, where they've developed so I'm, I'm really excited about this new album and can't wait to get it out yeah when will <laughs> it release do you think we're hoping yeah. right now sometime September okay. um, we, you know, a as anything, uh, we're, we're busy and to, you know, sort of organize a release and, and then, you know, finalize all of the little details right. as far as uh, what it takes to get the record out. Uh, it's still going to take us a, a few days, but we've already been in talks this week of where we're going to do it. And I'm sure hopefully we'll, we'll maybe come back on when we're ready to do the release and, right. and let you all know where we're yeah, going to do that Yeah, that'd be at, wonderful. We'd love it. And so, you know, uh, quickly, records are expensive and you've got a lot of touring, a lot of gas mileage um, piling up. So how are you funding the record? Well, as of now, we would like to fund a majority of this record with a campaign called Indiegogo. They're an online uh, crowdfunding is what it's called. And you reach out to your fans via your social media networks, mm -hmm. email, mm -hmm. it's sort of all in a digital platform. And the way it, it works is we're really just trying to pre-sell the album. Um, any fan, friend, family member, anybody uh, that knows us or is affiliated with us right. through any of our outlets can go on and, and not only pre-order the record, but there's a ton of great perks. Um, that's what each individual donation category is called. And depending on the amount of money you're able to give, right. um, you have different sort of rewards. You know, obviously the album is the biggest thing we want to get out, but there's all kinds of great stuff. We have, you know, limited edition uh, band swag, you know, as far as t-shirts or posters. Sure. Um, you know, we're doing some, some interesting things, uh, some lessons with the band. Uh, as far as if you're a, a musician or a, y a young musician, yeah. um, some some really neat sure. stuff. It sounds just like just get connected. Just get uh, connected with, with your fan band. base. Exactly. exactly. For a little personal um, time with the band and 
some good things. Well, we are so excited for your um, your future endeavors, and we can't Thank wait you. to get you back on here to hear about the uh, the upcoming album. We'd love we would to love it. to do it. Thank Wonderful. You so much, thank Sandy. you both hey, for thank being you. here. We appreciate it. And we thank you so much for joining us on today's Talk of the Town.